They're sequins, they're colorful, flamboyant, and entertaining. And their parade on New Year's Day is a Philadelphia tradition. So what is a mummer? A mummer? Um, I know there's a mummer parade every year. Well, what's but what's a mummer? Someone who is in the mummer's parade. <laughs> Character that looks like a troll that runs around and dances and sings on uh, New Year's Day. I don't even know how to describe them. They're just, I don't know. Fun, filled up for tradition, everyone loves. South Philadelphia tradition, coming down Broad Street since the uh, early 1900s. Umbrellas, costumes, colorful, enjoyable parade. A mummer is someone who celebrates New Year's Day and dances. There's four different categories of mummers. You have the fancies, the comics, the string bands, and the fancy brigades. Uh, so what is a mummer? A mummer in, uh, at least a mummer in Philadelphia, is someone, you know, who celebrates the New Year. You know, we had this mummers parade in Philadelphia, and there's a group of mummers uh, ringing in the New Year. They're a very optimistic crowd. It's a very, it's a group of people who are, you know, forgetting all of the troubles maybe of the past year and really ready for the New Year. Philadelphia is known as a city of murals, so no surprise, even the mummers have murals dedicated to them. And a visit to the city would not be complete without a stop in a museum. And of course, the Mummers have a museum dedicated solely to them. This is the New Year's Shooters and Mummers Museum, opened up in 1976 uh, in conjunction with the city of Philadelphia's bicentennial. We have some string band costumes, we have fancy division costumes, we have fancy brigade costumes, and we have clown costumes. So we cover all the all of the different divisions of the parade. If he wants that, we could just clue this like this, and that will help. Mm -hmm. We're a uh, production company. Uh, manufacturing costumes for the, the Philadelphia Mummers Parade and we do various groups and uh, everything starts here from a sketch and gets fabricated to the finished product and goes out the door. What do you think? That was good. This is the beginning of, <laughs> look at this one. One particular costume, especially the captain suits, they may take like a week just to finish from the beginning to the end. But when we're in production and you got multiple suits, they could take possibly about a week and a half to get them done because you're in a production set. And uh, it gets done a little faster because you don't have to change uh, your system going from one color to another color, changing your threads, changing your sequence. So we, we kick it out a little faster when we're in production. I've been doing this like 22 years now. Too long. <laughs> Tonight we have our practice. We have kids practicing, working on suits. It's, it's mum time. We're you know crunch time. We're almost done, ready to go. January 1st, right around the corner. What you see around here is our, our costumes for our theme this year. We're doing an Asian theme. We can't give too much away. Very secretive we are. What we have is we have everyone working on on head pieces. Uh, we have the kids working on their drill. We have women and, and the men working on actual our actual costumes for New Year's Day. Behind me is the Fralinger String Band. We're a local Philadelphia mummers group, and we're practicing here at a church hall on a Tuesday night, and we spend two to three hours. We practice two to three times a week during this time of year, during New Year's time, and we're getting ready for the parade. This is our drill rehearsal and our music rehearsal, and uh, it's nothing but energy. So uh, as you work during the day, you have to come here at, at night and give it all you have and whatever you have left. Mummer is a mummer, the best thing ever. Yeah. <laughs>